Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today is the final day of the season. We'll be doing some trophy pushing with one of the best ladder decks in Clash Royale right now, and that, of course, is the 3.6 Elixir Royal Giant Fisherman Furnace deck, guys. This deck is absolutely everywhere, currently being used over 8,000 trophies. But the number two player in the world, he has the fireball version of this deck. But just take a look, guys, at how many Royal Giants right now are on the leaderboards. We have this one right here, guys, Royal Giant. Royal Giant, again. Uh, hog deck. Balloon deck. Uh, Royal Hogs. One more Royal Giant deck. One more Royal Giant deck. Ram Rider. More Royal Giant. And uh, it just keeps going on and on, guys. It's absolutely absurd how popular Royal Giant is right now. And this deck has been proven to get over 8,000 trophies. So I want to go ahead, guys, jump into some battles, have some fun with it. Unfortunately, I do have to apologize to you guys. I am unable to live stream today for some end of season trophy pushing. As you guys know, sometimes we do do that. But I am unable to do so today, so I do want to apologize. Just been a little bit crazy on my end over here. Oh, my Ashti. Nasty, nasty, nasty. That's a P.E.K.K.A. deck. I think it was my first battle would be against P.E.K.K.A. Eh? That's just the, uh... That's just the, uh, the luck of the draw. As they say. So, Graveyard gets, Graveyard gets a little bit of damage done. Now, we have two Furnaces here. Oh, the Executioner. P.E.K.K.A. Executioner Graveyard. Nasty, dude. Come on. Yes, Executioner is dead, baby. So my main plan here is to utilize the furnaces as much as possible for the uh, pressure to his tower. Because obviously he's got P.E.K.K.A. Which obviously destroys R.G. I need to make a, a different plan here to win this game. If I want to have any chance at winning. I'm just going to lightning spell this. It's risky and aggressive. But it allows two fire spirits to get to the tower. P.E.K.K.A. going down right here. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to go Mega Minion here. We shall go Fisherman if we need to. Do we need it? RG pulls it back. Nice, baby. Where's your Where's your fish? Where? You know what? Fisherman might hit right here. Might actually pull that. Yeah, pull a skeleton. That yeah, pull that skeleton, man. That skeleton is exactly what I needed you to pull right there, Fisherman. That was exactly what I needed from you. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, that's all, all I gotta say is just thank you. What else? What else you gotta say there, guys? Just thank you, I guess. Baby D here. All right, we get, we get, we get. Kill that graveyard, please. One more furnace right here, baby. I'm so happy that my fisherman decided to pull one skeleton instead of the uh, executioner there. That was uh, just exactly what we needed to do, boys. Just exactly what we needed to do there. Baby D here. Fisherman here. Nice. Nice poison, buddy. Get away from my furnace, please. Thank you. Furnace here. That's dead. Kill the E-Wizard. That's dead. I'm gonna go RG here. Skeletons as well. You pull that away with, uh, with the Fisherman. Allows the stuff to do some work there. Pick it goes down. RG gets some shots off. One more shot, RG. Close. But not close enough, dude. Now we go RG right here. We should be able to win the game here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Go, Fisherman. Fisherman, go. <laughs> the double fish lap. Oh, that was pretty OP. P.E.K.K.A. can be a bit of a harder matchup for this deck. Because obviously P.E.K.K.A. destroys um, Royal Giant. And then... Uh, I was getting so confused. I won that battle and I looked at my trophies and I was like, Why are we at the same trophies? But then it, it takes a second for it to kind of go into your trophy count. It's a cool animation, but it just kind of conf confuses me, I guess. Uh, anyways, P.E.K.K.A. usually does work, work versus the RG. Obviously, that's the whole point of having Fisherman in there. Is You saw that last play there, guys. You saw that last play. We pulled the P.E.K.K.A. away from my RG, which is exactly what you want to do with this deck. But um, still, that, that one Fisherman versus the Executioner, when you started pulling the Skeletons, I was just like, are you kidding me? Get out of here, you nub. Go back to fishing school. 
Call it your fisher man, more like fisher boy. Get it? Because he's still young. Got some life lessons to learn still. All right, so this guy's got a snowball. And he's hesitant to make a play here. I really, really, really wish I had my freaking furnace in my starting hand. But we don't. We'll use this snowball ice golem. We'll use this snowball ice golem dark prince. Don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it, dude. This here? Are you kidding me? Did you see how far that burp, the belch from the baby dragon went? It was like a curve. It was like a heat seeking missile. Nice. Now we got some fire spirits applying the pressure on the right. So I'm guessing that's going to be another pack of deck. It's so funny, guys. I was, I was playing a little bit earlier on today. Just testing things out with this deck. And I did not face one single P.E.K.K.A. I'm guessing it's P.E.K.K.A. I could be wrong. It could be like Grave or something like that. But I didn't face one single P.E.K.K.A. So, we'll kind of see how it goes here. I always feel like when I start recording, I just get like a bad luck streak or something like that. It's like the game knows I'm recording. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait for it. Yes. Thank you, sir. I want to apply some pressure with the, uh, ooh, which one of these? A piggy deck. Some piglets in the middle. There we go. Nice, baby, nice. Let's go Royal Giant here, guys. I don't even care anymore. Screw it. YOLO. Don't you dare pull my RG to the middle there. You nub. Don't you dare. Nice, thank you. Appreciate it. Even though you did dare, uh, whatever. We can live and move on. We can live and move on. We can live and move on. Right? Look at that fishy boy just cleaning house there, guys. Who wins? One fishy boy? Or one not fishy boy? Huh? Come on, baby. This here? Come on. That does connect, unfortunately. Baby D here, though. Nice. I'm okay with that, Jess. That one musketeer is proving to be an issue, though. She's kind of annoying right now. Oh, the muskets. The muskets. The musket. 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 He ya. Uh. There we go. This here. Pull that thing over. Yes. Now kill the uh, Dark Knight. Fisherman here. Where's your bandit, my dude? Thank you. Oh, nice. Bandit's so dead. Let's just kill two of these. Why not? I don't care. It's worth it to kill two of them. Nice, dude. Now all I need is one more lightning spell to win the game. I can do that. I can make that happen, right? I'm a pro player, right? I can do things, right? He's going to use Piggy's here to block it, isn't he? Right here. Thank you. All right, that was getting a little bit heated there, guys. That was getting a little bit heated. That one uh, baby dragon. That was my fault for not using it properly, but I blame the baby D. Here's a, here's a, a life lesson for you guys. When in doubt, always blame the baby D. Okay? <laughs> if you ever need an excuse in life, just blame the baby D. People understand. Say, why did you do that, Shane? I, I, sorry. It was the baby D. The baby D's fault. I wasn't expecting it to do that, and it did. And they'll go, oh, the baby D, I hear ya. I hear ya, man. I've been there. No, no, no. I said to say good luck, not thanks. So yeah, you know what you know what I'm saying? Burn is here. Allen X. So we did make uh the Royal Champion League, 6600. Which I think was my it wasn't really my goal. I never really had a goal this season, guys, to be honest. I don't know why, I just never did. 
Giltans, you were supposed to protect the Mega Minion, you nubs. But you did kill the Giant, so I'll let you off the hook. I didn't really have a goal this season, because I kind of knew uh, from scheduling-wise that I was going to be pretty busy the, the, the last week of this season. I was initially thinking, like, maybe trying for 7k, but I knew I wouldn't really have enough time to kind of do that, so... I think I kind of tempered those expectations earlier on, knowing that uh, it was going to be a bit of a rougher, rougher go this time around. Fish slap that prince, baby. Fish slap it some more, and fish slap it some more. Fish slap the prince. Yeah, you better not get a prince charge, you nub. E wizard lightning spell that. I don't care. I don't care. It's not value because we get one and two fire spirits to the tower. Now, the problem herein lies that he, w the lightning spell there was not value. In fact, it was the opposite of value. It gave him value. So, uh, that's the that's the issue here in lying, guys. It's here. Nice. Look at this, baby. Look at this. Oh, we always get the... No, 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 no. Make it, no, 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 no. Make it, no, no, no. Thank you. Guys, that was getting pretty crazy there. I apologize. But, uh, the fisherman was supposed to activate the king tower, but the giant died. The one time the giant decides to die is when my fisherman's about to do some work. That's unfortunate. Fish lap. It's a good old fish lap. It's a good... You know what I should be doing? I should be using my furnace on the opposite lane. And that way he can't, uh, you know, do that thing with that thing that he does. Pull that prince away. Allows the uh, giant to get some work done. Go, 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 royal giant. Go, 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 royal giant. Oh, shoot. Oh, shooty. Oh, shooty. We're dead, boys. we dead, boys. Kill that dark prince, please. Kill that giant, please. Kill the miner, please. Somebody kill something. Don't just stand there. What are you doing, you nubs? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Guys, in case you didn't notice already, we'd be dead. We'd be dead, son. L and X, good game, broski. Probably a little bit messing around too much. And also that one defense did not help, guys. But as I told you already, blame the baby D. It's baby D's fault, guys. Alrighty, guys. Boys and girls. Ladies and gents. Let's keep her going over here, baby. Let's keep her going. Mitos. Instead of Cheetos, it's Mitos. Oh, nice. Let's back here. So, it's going to be a minor Goblin Gang deck. How nasty is that, dudes? Huh? Bar Barrel. The Fisherman does Fish Lap. Once, twice, thrice, and that's all that matters, baby. Baby D Barbell Miner. There's gonna be like an RG Miner deck, Giant Miner deck. One of these. One of these. Come on, baby, get it. Where's your fireball, dude? I'm assuming he's got some sort of spell in there. I'm just... I don't want to go... I don't want to go anything just yet until I know he's got... He's got Zap. We just figured that out right now. But I, I think he's got Mega Knight or P.E.K.K.A. in there. I'm smelling a Mega Knight or a P.E.K.K.A., guys. So I kind of want to just chill for now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, boys? Here we go. Baby D is exchanging some... Uh, no! Get away from my furnace, you nub. Thank you. Thank you for getting away from my furnace. Much appreciate that. Rascal's there. I'm gonna go Skeletons here. Fisherman here. He zaps that jazz. We kill that Rascal boy. I'm gonna wait for that furnace to go down. Then I'm gonna go Furnace to replace it. It will we'll waste a few Elixir here, guys, but I wanna get a Furnace in that spot right there. There we go, baby. Nice. I'm okay with that. Maybe D here for that miner. We cannot activate King Tower right now. 
I'm expecting like a peck or something in there, but we'll see. I can spell here. Nice, there we go. Risky, risky, really risky lightning spell. Gonna have rocket or fireball for that one. Baby D's. Oh, he saps! He misses his aspo! Nice! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, the juicy goodness, guys. So now that I see the uh, Infernal D in there, I am no longer suspeculating a uh, Pekka. But of course, he's got the mini variety. Dang, Daniel. All these minis. Yo, the switcheroo, guys. The sneaky old switcheroo right there on the right. Nasty. That's nasty, man. That's just nasty, dude. How dare you? Okay, we good? Here we go. Get it, baby. Let's get it. Baby gets one burp. One belcheroo. We pull the miner over. All right. Now we just got to close this one out, boys. Here's my plan, all right? Here is the plan of action. We're gonna go lock this back here. Our Jesus here. Fisherman here pulls the mini P.E.K.K.A away. Mini P.E.K.K.A is away now. So it keeps my things alive. RG one shot, RG one more shot. And now we are within what they call the lightning range, my dear friends. Fisherman, go Fisherman. No, you don't go? Okay. There we go, baby. Good game, well played. So, me toes. Me, me toes. Me toes is going down, and we are back over 6,600 trophies in uh, what they call the Royal Champion League, guys. So, obviously could have got, I don't know. Last time it took me eight hours of live streaming to get 7K. If you guys remember, like it was two seasons ago, I think. It was an eight hour live stream. And then the day before that, we streamed for two hours just to get 7K. Unfortunately, that I wasn't able to make that happen this season. But um, I'm still pretty happy with the result that we got. We lost one to Giant Della Prince. Uh, but we beat, we beat some, good, some good decks, you know what I'm saying? We did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that, right? We should be happy with that, right? All right, guys, let's go ahead here, finish the video off with one replay for tonight because we are running out of time right now. Oh, facing up against Yusuf, who's rocking a Golem Lightning Beatdown. Golem Lightning, I think? Golem Lightning Beatdown beat deck. This was one of two battles. I faced two decks in a row. It was Golem, Lightning, Executioner, and uh, NATO, I think. Twice in a row. I'm like, what are, the, what are the chances that half the deck is the same? Uh, Twice in a row. I don't know. Anyways, uh, he's got Goblin Cage, which you don't see too much this season. I think they a little bit over nerfed it uh, in that. Um, I think it was August update where they nerfed the uh, the, the the Goblin Cage. They nerfed the 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 cage itself plus the brawler movement speed. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it's quite been the same since then. Anyways, we're doing all right here. We're defending. We're kind of figuring out his deck. He's got. Um, I think he's gonna go Golem right here. In front of this executioner and no actually lightning spells here which is a very interesting choice i think it's just waiting for the double extra period before going um before going golem now there is a way to activate your king tower against bowlers and i think executioners by using that fisherman um i haven't quite figured out the executioner placement quite a bit easier with the uh bowler though because the bowler obviously has the longer range now, the Fisherman sneaks in there, guys. It gets some damage onto the tower because the RG is tanking, thankfully. So, we've got tower down to 1,000 health there because of the, uh, the RG tanking Fisherman uh, sneaking this. Now, we're going to go ahead here with a Mega Minion. Destroys the Goblin Brawler and the Baby D. And now, we're looking pretty good here. We have a 2,000 damage lead. He's going to go Golem right lane, I do believe. But his King Tower, which means he ignores this next wave of Fire Spirits. So, we get one Fire Spirit to his tower, bringing his tower down to 853 health. I asked you guys in my balance update video what you thought of the furnace. And it was pretty 50-50. Some people said it's pretty OP. Some people said it's fine. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I was going to go ahead here with a... I think we... No, we don't. I was going to say, I think we lightning spell there. But we go Fisherman. We pull the Golem over. That way, when the when the furnace goes down, the Golem actually goes to the, to the opposite tower. That's how OP Fisherman is. 
Log here destroys the uh, the Executioner. Dark Prince does attack our tower, but it only gets one shot, so nothing too crazy. Gonna go one more furnace over here, guys. Apply that passive pressure. Golem going down on the right. Gonna get another defense ready to go over here. It's a little bit too late in the game to go RG off the lane now, so just play, uh, play some defense instead. Gonna go Baby D here on the right. Wait for Lightning Spell right now. Lightning Spell goes down, and then we go Fisherman to pull the Golem over with a Mega for that Dark Prince. It's so OP to be able to switch the lane of a Golem with that Fisherman. Uh, but anyways, RG going on the right. We have Baby D defending the execution of the left lane. RG destroys the Goblin Brawler. He nails that back. Uh, Brawler does go down. RG still alive. Meanwhile, he's getting some damage down to our tower left lane. Thankfully, the RG does finish the tower off. We have ourselves a one crown victory, guys. And uh, yeah, tower goes down. Golem is dead. And we have the dub. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself. Like I said before, it's currently one of the top decks in the game. You guys saw it was all over the leaderboard in the intro. Uh, it's been used over 8,000 trophies in Ultimate Champion League. Did pretty well with it today, guys. The Fisherman is absolutely busted right now. Uh, that's probably why it's getting nerfed tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's the end, guys. I do want to apologize once again that I was not able to do an end-of-season trophy-pushing live stream for you guys. Just didn't really work out this season. But uh, hopefully we are able to get one done uh, for you guys in the future. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. I want to wish you all the best of luck on your end-of-season trophy push. Feel free to let me know down below what your goal was for this end of the season and what you actually finished at. But guys, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.